Hello guys, who here, back in another video. This time around, as the title says, we are gonna talk about ideas for 2024. We do this every single year, where we try to get some of the ideas that we've been thinking about as uh, me as uh, personally, or also as a community for the whole last year. And then we try to make a video and then we hopefully the dev sees and then hopefully they implement some of the stuff. We did get the Dells, we did get Paragon. We also got the star chart, which I basically called the talent tree, but it's the star chart. And then we also got titles in there or achievements, if you want to call it like that. That's some of the ideas that we actually got implemented in the game. So that's why we're doing this every single year, just to hopefully that we can steer the game into something that we do want to see. So comment down below if you have any ideas you want to have implemented in the game. Maybe the dev sees it. I'm not sure that they saw all these videos and then came up with the ideas for you know, all these things that I just mentioned, but at least it's a notch in the right way. And I do know that they do look at social media for these things. But if you really want your ideas out there, there is a Trove Discord you can go into, official one where they look a lot more. Don't go on Reddit, they don't look there. Uh, well, I say they don't look there. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Basically, I'm not their, I'm not their boss or I don't have a special camera just oh, looking at what they're doing. But I, I don't think they go on Reddit uh, that much anymore. But, you know, some of the new devs might love it and they might not like Discord or whatever. Just post it everywhere you can and hope for the best that's at least what i'm doing that's why i'm doing the video so you should do so as well and again again comment down below if you have any ideas as well maybe the devs do also see the comments if there's a chance and it doesn't hurt very much to to type in something that you think is super amazing or start making some videos it would be super amazing for the community and for yourself and maybe someday you'll get something implemented in the game as well that would be super super amazing so just wanted to make this quick little intro here but it's going to be sort of a long video because there is a lot of stuff that we should be covering so you have got to strap in for sort of a longer video and i do want to make timestamps for the different things if you want to see specific things but some of them are going to be uh, quality of life stuff but there is going to be some uh, content ideas in there as well and we're going to start with the content idea and we're going to start of course with the biggest one of course and that is gonna be endgame so yes first things first is what i feel like trove is missing the most and it's just gonna be endgame and endgame we do have the delves and delves is amazing because it's never ending you can keep going it's sort of like the shadow towers if you haven't been around in the game it's it's just like shadow towers now it's just never ending and some people like that some people don't like that but you can, at least you can challenge yourself so it's just, you can call it a never ending shadow towers if you want to feel like you want to do so as well. There is some of those, you know, shadow tower bosses in there. So sort of feels like a little bit like the shadow towers. But speaking of the shadow towers, maybe the shadow towers is still around and there's no reason to go to the shadow towers now because all your souls, your titan souls, your lunar souls, all that stuff is getting from the delves, right? But we still have the shadow towers around. So my in-game idea would be some sort of rework to the Shadow Towers because it's already there and people are used to it. I don't know if it's going to confuse people that are coming back, but not really sure on all of that. And But I do think that a Shadow Tower rework would be amazing with some harder bosses in there, like an in-game that would be not above Delve because a Delve, again, is never ending. But a certain point where you do have to meet like you do with the different worlds you know you need a specific amount of power rank you need a specific amount of light as well we had to do that as well of course with shadow towers back in the day you did have to have 10,000 power rank to enter you know ultra mode and all that stuff they should definitely bring that stuff back maybe not like a normal and a hard and an ultra version or something like maybe they could do that if people are into that uh, again i don't have a completely flushed out idea about the end game right now but i the main thing is that we get pushed the narrative or we need some more in-game. We don't need more delve. We don't, we just need where it, it should be a challenge, but still not a challenge. If you know what I mean, it should be somewhere you can work together where it's like kind of implemented to work together. So the community have something to come together with. I'm not sure, but I definitely need some uh, uber bosses or something in there. I'm not sure what exactly it is. And 
I'm kind of hesitant to say a bunch of stuff because I don't know what exactly the idea is. I'm very sorry for any devs or any viewers are sitting out there kind of want, wanting a full idea. But all I can say is still the end game is what really is necessary uh, in this regard. Um, what we are going to see, I unfortunately don't know because I don't know where Go Trove should go next. Because this is basically completely new territory. The, the ideas that I've had in the past was building on something that was already there. But we need something completely new. I know I talked about Shadow Towers right now and should rework that. But it should be a new version of Shadow Towers. As at least something, again, I'm building on something we had. Because also I feel like the Shadow Towers is now unused. Of course, there's a few things you need from some batches and stuff like that in there. That could easily be moved to something else. Or just keep in there and just reworked in some way and adding more mechanics to the bosses and more randomness or whatever. So it's it's just more fun when it's not just, you know, whatever. But it could also be just, you know, building on tactics. It is an MMO, right? So anyways, the point is we definitely need some end game. We need something new. Like we got, you know, with the Geo top side, not the Geo top side, but Geo in, in general. That was completely new. We've never seen something like that before. We need that again. And I feel like it has to be from the end game. Of course, Geo could also be kind of known as maybe a whatever called like a end game, but we definitely need some end game and it has to be something new because there is technically i'm going to make this in quotations because there's somebody going to be mad out there if i don't say that trope doesn't need anything because trope definitely needs something but we definitely need a completely new end game so what it is unfortunately i don't have the answer for but i would be happily surprised if anything that basically gets implemented in the game but i definitely want to see something completely new like we saw the shift from normal trove to Jude, and then we got a completely, and that's been built on a lot, but we need a completely new place or something completely new to do. It really has to be revamped in a big, big way. The end game definitely has to do that. So anyways, enough chit-chatting about the end game. We got a lot more to cover, but the theme of this one, and this is the most important thing, end game. New in-game, not more in-game, new in-game. <laughs> that's, well, more in-game is, I guess, is the same thing. But yeah, that's it. Now we can move on some more lighter stuff. But yeah, definitely, if you have, if you don't watch more of this video, at least take away the in-game part and the new in-game, basically. So anyways, that was it. Let's move on to some more stuff. All right, for this next part, is just going to be a mismatch of old ideas that I've said before. So I'm going to go through them a little bit quick before I get into the different ideas that I've had through the whole year. And those I'm going to cover a little bit more. But these are going to be some I already talked about. And it's going to be minor things and stuff we already had. But I think it still needed to be a mention. So I'm going to go over them pretty quickly so it doesn't become the longest of videos. But... Of course, we might need want a need a new class, but again, if you just came from the other segment, endgame is more important. But if we get a different a new class and not a new endgame, I would not be super unhappy, but I would not be completely satisfied. Again, endgame is is the big theme of this 2024, but a new class can also be a small you know patch uh, if you want, you know on that. But we also of course need maybe crystal five gear. Or a new tier uh, that also could be implemented in the end game, but either Crystal Five. I, I think we're pretty much. I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to say Crystal Five because I feel like we're done with Crystal Gear, if you know what I mean. I feel like we need a completely new gear that's not tied into Chaos Cores because Chaos Cores definitely uh, is needed also for the new Primordial Drake. You know, five thousand of those. That's pretty hard to come by as a new player, but. If we also get Crystal 5, I know uh, some people, include me included, we sit on a lot of Crystal Cores because we just stack them up and we have no use for them, really. We did have that for the per Primordial Drake, of course, but for Crystal 5, everybody's just going to switch for 4 to 5. You know, there, there should be, of course, some sort of tied into that. But, of course, it's, people are going to max that out stuff right away. So a new tier would be a lot uh, better then i talk about the leviathans i've talked about that before i really think they should be moved maybe into the shadow towers i just talked about reworking the shadow towers but or put them into the ever dark worlds as well or their own completely own world because they are lacking up those games it has been better now that there's only one leviathan but still they are lagging up the game because everybody's spreading out and getting them and that there's a whole other video i could talk about that 
maybe some new biomes could be a thing but we did get the one with the you know southern sun uplands and stuff like that i think that's been done before we have plenty of biomes i don't think that is the next goal but i'm gonna mention it anyways another thing is more stats on gems so we can have more freedom to choose so it's not always the same thing that goes on and on it would be a little bit annoying because last year I did update all my all my guide videos to be even better, more precise, more to the point and all that stuff. They are way better. My guides last year I made, they still work this year, you know. But if there was more choices, I had to redo do all of those. That would be a crazy amount of work again, but I would do it just for that. And then, of course, I would love to see more reworks of classes. I want to see reworks for all the classes. And we didn't get, we have only, we only got one last year. So I hope that we can get more in the future. It just makes it a lot more fun to have those smaller, uh, smaller updates containing a rework that just kind of makes it a little bit more exciting. Then I'm also talking about a reputation system. You know, we did get, we do have factions in the game. And I'm just going to mention again, we did get the titles one who is kind of into the achievements and stuff like that. But maybe a rep system where you kind of have to put in your rep and then you do have to get your stuff. Then of course we maybe want to get you man, uh, you know, Jude mastery of course for 200 maybe, but yeah, it, I, I think it's fine as it is right now. Then there's just the PVP battle tab we have in our class one. Maybe that could be reworked into something else because it has no function now. Maybe it can be reworked into something else. That would be amazing. Maybe a season, thing you know i'm going to talk about that later about a season but all or battle pass as well i know a lot of people hear battle pass and hear money and stuff like that and i totally get that but again it's a free-to-play game they do have to incentivize some sort of payment to it and maybe somebody likes the way you know you just buy a pack and that's what you like or maybe people like to work towards it as a battle pass or whatnot but Again, it's a, in, we're going into real money territory, so I'm not going to talk a lot about it. And I'm not saying it should be a thing. We, uh, you know, less money, uh, more content. Great. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> uh, maybe some of the unfinished stuff like the Forbidden Spires mounts. Now, I've talked about that before. You know, there was the different birds. Maybe bigger events. You know, we did get a, the one for the New Year's was kind of cool. That's going to keep going for the, you know, forever because we got the working bench. Maybe more of that. That would be amazing. It could be cool if you could take a three-day patron pass and make it to three one-day patron passes. So you can kind of spread it out more if you want to. So you don't have three days in a row if you can't play or whatever. Uh, then there's, of course, the professions. Maybe get them all to 300. Runecrafting. We're looking at you. Runecrafting. If you want to get that to 300. Of course, we got the two new professions. And at one point, I think they should also get to 300. That they knew. But runecrafting has been around forever. Uh, seven years or even more, I think. So... That really definitely needs also to get to 300 and so i feel like then of course the fixing the friends list so it you know because if you have as many friends as i have on my friends list 2500 or so your game starts to lag when you open that stuff up so i usually don't open my friends list very often which you know maybe somebody adds me and i don't see that so definitely have something to fix the friends list maybe it's a bigger problem than than what i know i'm not a dev so i don't know and then of course there is also a very small xp that's also I'm talking about that. It's going to talk about that with clubs as well. But when you finish a dungeon, if you if that's your uh, primary, you know, uh, club, then you would get a little bit of XP when you finish the dungeon. Maybe that could be exploited as well. But I just kind of feel like that's also a nice way to kind of level up your club. It's not super hard to do, but I just wish there was more than than just doing the quests. But we'll talk about that when we get to the club portion as well, because that's definitely going to be a uh, portion and then speaking of xp we should definitely get more xp for mini bosses you know there's mini bosses all around it could also be exploited in a way because they you know if you get a lot more xp for doing like these mini bosses but you get the same xp as you would do as a normal monster again it's not super crazy to to level up in this game but you know it just seems kind of weird that it's a monster that's a little bit harder and you get the same experience so so it's sort of just easier to run by as well then, of course, I also wanted an easier way to see if you have a patron. Uh, there's probably going to be some people going to say, oh, you can see it right there. But I just kind of wish there was a better way, a better, like, op really, like, light it up that you basically have a patron going on right now. Basically, also when it's going to end and stuff like that with real time or whatever. 
And then of course, I also wanted an update to refer a friend system as well. That'd be super amazing if, you know, just to get easier, more rewards or something like that. Sort of a, maybe also like a pass or something like that. And then lastly, I do want as well a primal block inventory. I know we do definitely have a, you know, a inventory, but I would love to see that there is a separate, you know, both a primal block uh, inventory and also then also a different sort of whatever you would call it, like different items uh, tab as well. So you can, you know, separate those two things and then, you know, it's not all mixed and matched together. So you basically have a, a primal block inventory and then you also have a regular thing as well but that was the kind of the ones we've gone over before in the previous years so not going to talk very much more of that now we're going to go into the segments that i have on the ideas that i've been coming up or cooking up i guess uh, this year here it's not a plenty but it's a little bit so hopefully we can get some of these but mostly they are quality of life updates to the game but they're coming up right here all right, so the first idea is not a huge one, but I am going to talk about it right here. And that's, of course, weekly contest. I would love to see more different, uh, you know, not just eggs, you know, Infinium dungeons, chests, and so on and so on. More weekly contests. So we do have fle not more of them. It's fine. There's two. I just want more different ones. So it's not always like the same kind of rotation that, you know, two weeks in a row, it's Infinium or whatever. I just want to see more different ones and it could be for anything. I feel like it's kind of sad that it's, for example, Infinium, it's only Infinium. Why can't it be also for the purple ore or the blue ore and all that stuff? So that also gets in there. And also maybe some of the other ingredients that are, are ingredients, the materials that are a little bit harder to get for new people. So if you then make contests for it, people are going to farm it and then they're going to put it on the marketplace and then the price is going to go down, which is going to make it easier for new players to keep playing because we would do definitely do want more people to, for playing that is so yeah that was the weekly contest we can now move on to another thing next thing is more rewards for playing the pts server i will link down in the description sea of thieves has a reward system for actually you know playing their pts server so if you go down there and check that out that says everything there is to play on sea of thieves uh P test server i don't think it's called pts server but our P test server definitely should have more rewards for playing the game given to us in the live game and i know it gives an advantage of course for pc players because those can play it and you know console players can't do that but it will incentivize people more to play the game and then we would have less bugs because more people would encounter bugs because they're playing it because they want the rewards so on the live game it shouldn't be something big something huge like a million flux for example for playing five minutes or so but it should be something that is definitely more incentivizing for people to test out the stuff. I know there's some people out there that do an amazing job on testing all of these things. And thank you so much for doing all of that. But I just feel like more rewards would also incentivize more people to test the servers. And we have less bugs in the beginning. And then there was also be, you know, less things flushed out. And then could those updates could also get faster to the consoles because... Of course, Xbox and PlayStation wants a completely free bug or like 99.9% 9 free of bugs. Uh, so def therefore, uh, it's very nice that it would be completely flushed out faster, all those bugs, so we can get it to everybody faster as well. But anyways, that the main part was just to get more rewards, getting more testing on the PCS server and just more testing in general. That would be uh, super amazing. And I do also hope that there are going to be more testing on the PCS server this year, both with data and internet and connections and all that stuff that we had, you know, previous. I just want more of that because I want to do that because I want to improve the game as much as I can. And I love that this stat is not only updates, but also stuff like that as well. But rewards for the PTS server, that's the thing. So yeah, that's one I wanted with this one. Let's move on to the next one. Next thing is daily lock in rewards. We had that in the, you know, we had that before. We have had a lot of variations of it. We had the Radiant Day Spring. If you had just played the event, that was actually a place where we actually locked in every day and we did some stuff and it was super amazing. But I really want to that to come back in some sort of way. We did get something kind of like that with the new event where we got the, uh, you know, strongman to champions, you know, bench. We are going to work out every single day. That's never going away. That's going to keep going. I hope that is going to be more implemented in that one. It's, I think it's a great idea to sort of have some daily quests that you can do that it's not taking a bunch of time but gives you a little bit it just gives you one of these tokens every single day so you have to do it for 30 days so yeah 
just saying that that's just super amazing we don't have to get our daily reward like just by logging in we could also get it by playing a certain amount of time as we basically do for the star bar but have a timer that basically goes down like you definitely have to play for 15 minutes yes you can also be a afk for those 15 minutes but while you you know anyways logged in you might as well play a little bit right so and it's just a little reward and could you be changing it could be like a hundred of the orange uh, or i was about to say orange or <laughs> about the purple or like a hundred of them or something like that and people say um, that's nothing but yeah it shouldn't be overwhelming it shouldn't be like a million flux or something like that just for playing five minutes that'd be insane but a little bit of incentive to play more and play in a certain amount of time or whatever it just i don't know if it does anything for it but i see other games having it and Maybe it does something, maybe it doesn't, I don't know, but it's just it's just a suggestion, it's just an idea. So, but bring something back for the daily rewards or more daily quests that is not quest club and stuff like, just like we had with the event. I love that. That's amazing. Great. So that's that's the daily login reward. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up, we got a little bit of a bigger thing, but it's still sort of a quality of life kind of update. I talked about it before, but I do want to talk about it again. It's the Delve rework, and it's not reworking it completely. It's just adding, you know, more ways to get to the boss, like skipping the boss, for example. Actually just running through it and don't doing the objective. And then you would still do, you know, you still get the boss, but... There was like sort of a little bit of a catch to it because you wouldn't have you would have the same amount of chance because we talked about also before we talked about a, a maybe crystal five gear or we talked about a new tier of gear and you know crystal would be a way for that to get to the next tier of course just as you know radiant is to to stellar to you know to the crystal and so forth you know it'd be a stepping stone for the next thing right so it'd just be easier to get some Crystal 4 gear because that's what we have right now. We don't know if we're going to get Crystal 5, but a task from 4 also maybe to 5 that you would do the objectives, add some more objectives instead of just having like, you know, clear room or clear 5 rooms, but have more objectives. And the more objectives you did, the bigger chance you would have. Not like if you did all the objectives, it would be like 100% drop chance. We're not talking like that, but adding maybe more 5. I don't know what the drop rates are, but let's say we add... 5% more per task you do and then there's three different tasks for example it could be the task we already have but just like more of them and the more you did you get like 5% each time and then you just be a bigger time not a guarantee but you would have a bigger time but if you're just looking to get for example your souls you basically you have completely crystal four gear I know some people do have completely crystal four gear they don't want to do these tasks to get extra crystal four gear why would they do that they don't need it anymore right so they could just skip ahead, but they still want their Lunar and maybe they don't really don't want the Lunar and Titan Souls. But if they had the option to just go to the boss and just, you know, get through those three floors pretty quickly and get the Lunar Souls and Titan Souls, that might be incentive to again do the Delves again. Because I don't do my Delves anymore because I don't really have a need for Lunar or Titan Souls. And kind of bugs me out that I don't do it because it, it, it's still nice to have and feels like I'm not really doing what I'm supposed to be doing in Trove. So I would just love to skip ahead to the boss because yes, I do not have Crystal 4 gear in all my classes, but I don't really care too much about the Crystal 4 either. I just really kind of want to get to my uh, Luna Souls and my Titan Souls and just get that out of the way and just skip ahead instead of doing all sorts of like clearing and finding a special boss or something like that. Like, I just want to skip ahead and just defeat the boss and then move on to the next one and then get the soul vault and still, there will still be a chance of crystal four gear if you get deep enough right but i i would just be like oh cool nice i'm i'm so happy you know but i wouldn't it's not why i'm doing the delves i'm trying to do the delves i'm just trying to get my lunar souls and my titan souls just because i feel like i still need to do them just because you know it is a weekly thing so if you don't get them done and you suddenly want to do something special and you don't have enough Lunar Souls and Titan Souls, you're just stuck there, right? So definitely want to get something to do with that to skip ahead to the bosses. But yeah, that's that's okay. basically what uh, this was. Just not a rework completely, but just skipping ahead and maybe giving bigger chance for if you do more tasks to incentivize for people to do the task and say, hey, if you do the task, hey, there's actually more a bigger chance of doing it. Actually, you know, even 1%, uh, there's also very low, but even 1% would be, uh, better but yeah kind of reworking the, the the delve a little bit with that as well and skipping ahead to the boss 
But that was it. Let's move on to the next thing as well. All right, so now we got the club rework. Uh, this has been a request uh, such a long time, but we definitely need a club rework. Clubs are amazing as they are right now, you know, with the whole thing, with all those. There should be some quality of life thing we should definitely address right here. Definitely being, uh, the first one being finding a club should be better. I know there's a clubhouse in the hub and stuff like that, but we should definitely be easier to find a club. For example, setting up different, I know there's different clubs that has different requirements to joining their club ours do not you just have to be a nice uh, nice person and the way you do it now is really really extensive because first they have to go to the description of the uh, of the video find the discord go on the discord and then ask if somebody and we have made it so everybody can invite just to make it easier so if you see somebody asking on the discord you can invite them and that's totally cool but i really wish that they would be much easier to basically sign up for clubs I know there would be a lot of signups, but if you search, for example, that uh, I would like to have, for example, clubs that are at least like 40,000 power rank requirement or something like that, or a specific amount of mastery to join, then you can type that in in a search function in the in the in game, uh, in the in game, <laughs> in game. And then basically search for those clubs that you want. If you want something that is super social or super doing a lot of, you know, Leviathans, doing a lot of, uh, you know, Delves and such, you know, all that stuff would be an amazing addition to the game. So you can just find those clubs easier and then apply for those. And then you can accept people in games who don't have to do all that Discord thing and have to be at the online at the same time. Oh my God, I hate that so much. I hate that we have to be online at the same time. I hate it so much because people live in different areas of the world. And sometimes people are in America, somebody is in Asia, and I'm not awake when it is. And I know everybody can invite, but they might not be seeing that. And then they're not online. Please, 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 let's, let's please invite people without both of them being online. Just like we have our friends list. Please, please make, make it like that. Like that, I would be eternally grateful. I would almost say that I am. I'm on the level of if you don't bring anything to the game this year, except for me <laughs> adding people in game and don't have to do the whole Discord thing. I would be, be telling everybody that this is the best year of Trove content ever. That's almost where I'm at. I'm just, I'm I'm over exaggerating right now, but I, that's how much it really really is like. Finding those club, inviting people, you don't have to be online, you don't have to do all that stuff. Oh my God, I would be so happy. I would be so happy, I would be so happy. Um, it, it would not be, uh, it, I would still be disappointed if that was the only thing coming this year, but I'm, I'm over exaggerating, of course. But yes, better ways of inviting people to the club and also just a better UI, a better ways to pick up your quest as well from the in-game menu, so you don't have to, you know, go to the club and go out of the club and, and stuff like that and going backwards and forwards and, and having a bunch of loading screens as well. Again, like the loading screens are fine in Trove, you know, uh, especially if you have it on a, on, a, on a fast hard drive, you know, I don't know how it is on, on PlayStation, like Xbox and Switch and stuff, but I just want to say maybe have to, you know, you can pick up the, um, you know, the quests from the UI or and also set up some rules for the, you know, club if you you know, uh, is, you know, away from the club for a certain amount of time. If you're over a year, for example, you can set that up. If somebody has been offline for more than a year, they, they just get out or kicked out of the club or something like that. But definitely let us please pick up the quest as well. Please pick up the quest from the UI as well. So we don't have to do that. And also summon people from the, uh, from the UI as well and stuff like that. Just make it a lot more, you know, that so we don't have to go to the different clubs and doing things like that that would be amazing as well for doing that but yeah club rework love the clubs stayed mostly the same but just have more ui stuff doing things that you, or you can manage to club a little bit easier with that and especially the inviting part would be super amazing anyways that was enough with the club let's move on to uh next thing all right, so next thing is our seasons. So we do, uh, there is seasons in different games and I really wish the Trove would have some sort of season as well. I don't know if it fits Trove exactly, but I just want something bigger to work towards that sort of takes you on a journey from, you know, from like one part. I, I don't think it should be, it could be three months, it could be a month at a time. We do have the events and stuff, but 
uh, maybe a month is a little bit too little. Maybe it's definitely two months or three months where we go kind of on a journey or some sort of like longer seasonal quest or something like that that unlocks at certain times and not is not like I know that sounds time gated. I know people don't like time gated, but I just kind of wish that um, yeah we would have some bigger seasons in some way or bigger journeys or bigger quests that last for longer and it's not over like we do have with the events you know we get it all done in one day uh, but you actually get it a lot much longer and it's something that we can have for a lot longer time indeed so yeah something bigger seasons like a maybe like we talked about a battle pass before maybe but i don't know if it should be a that but i just want something like a longer journey i don't want like content in that sense i just want a longer well it's content i guess but i do definitely want a longer uh quest journey season journey anything you want to call it but i just want something that lasts more than just a day that's definitely just what i want to but yeah seasons or journey yeah that's it now we not have many more things left but we are going to move on to the next thing this next thing is not a big, big, crazy thing. It is just about, it's more like a question, I guess. What about our vault world? Vault worlds, I hope I said that correctly, but we do have something called vault worlds. It was sort of a patch or a, what do we call a bandit? A band, no, not a bandit, but a bandit on a, a wound that was called inventory. So basically you could have a, because we got five clubs, you could have one of your clubs be in a vault world and then you could go to that vault world and that vault world would have a chest that was specific only to the vault world and you could then put some more stuff. So basically it was an extra tab, but nobody, uh, well, I'm saying nobody, I don't think anybody uses the vault world. And then when I say vault world, people are like, what the hell is that, right? But I just wish that we maybe took all these world worlds. Uh, I still have mine. I just don't use it on my Bing, but I do have it on an alt account. So I still have it around and you can also add your alts and you can all add other people as well. Sort of like a little bit of a mini club world without quests and stuff like that. But it's just a way of sharing things. And, and I think there is a crafting table. Uh, and I think there is also a, oh, what's it called again? um a personal chest and then also the vault chest as well but what if these all these vault vaults were just given to everybody what if they were kind of removed in a sense but they were given to everybody so everybody had it so you would still have the vault vault and may i know that you couldn't then not invite people other people to it and it would be personal but i know some people might have inventory space as well now they're you know kind of managing and there is definitely again there's going to be more and more items added to the game over time so maybe these vault vaults because nobody nobody really uses it because it takes up a club uh, wor a world slot and you don't really want to you want to be a part of as many clubs as you can i feel like you don't really have a vault world to that and nobody really uses it so maybe you know maybe that could be a thing that could you know be a thing where you put your stuff in maybe like a personal chest thing where it's you know whatever it, but anyways maybe a lot of people use it still and that's not really the case i was just wondering about the vault worlds if somebody actually uses it maybe all of you do and i'm, I'm just the only one that doesn't but anyways maybe vault worlds would be something that we should uh, give to everybody and not just have it as a as a thing so maybe that could be reworked a little bit in there as well but anyways that was the third last thing let's move on to the second last thing all right, next to last thing is going to be about allies. So allies are amazing, but something I am really, really missing is a search function. So a search function for like, hey, I want some, I want an ally with magic find, for example, or I want something that gives physical damage or something like that. You can't find those unless you know of these things. I know you can go to Trovosaurus and you can know you can go to, you know, Tro Wiki and stuff like that. The wiki is not updated because nobody updates it anymore. But the point is, it should be in game where you can search for like magic find or physical damage, magic damage, whatever you want to have on your ally, maybe light even. And then you get all the light sorted, like all the allies. So you have a search, at least you know every of these has light. And then you can search for it as well. Also, maybe with numbers and stuff, but at least sort all the allies. It could also be mounts for that, for that matter, but allies, because there, there's so many allies in the game, there's so many to keep track of, and everything gets added, and who's which one is the best one right now. I have made videos on that, 
But the pain point is, we definitely do need a search function for all of these so, we, so other people can find it, just find it in-game. And again, it doesn't have to be a search function for that. It could just be a sorting thing where it's just like all the stats. So again, you can, you know, put on every ally that has a light stat on it. They could be there so you can have a look at it because if you're looking for an ally that has to have light on it because you want light, why are you looking at, you know, allies that has jumps and stuff like that that you're not going to use, for example. It, but if you want jumps, you know, that could be a thing as well. So some sort of search function or some sort of like stats search thing, whatever you call it, a specific stats that would be super amazing, not only for, of course, allies, but any other thing where you are looking for stats as well. I think it's only allies where like the sort of a stats thing is kind of involved where there's a bunch of it because... Yes, of course, you can also have it a little bit for uh, mounts, but uh, they basically all do the same thing. So more allies are just a big pile of looking forever through everything as well. So never finding anything. So search function for allies would be a nice quality of life update as well. All right. That was the second, like I said, the second last thing. Let's move on to the last thing. And we are done with this monstrosity of a video. So uh, moving on to the last thing. All right, so the last thing is a loot log. So what is a loot log? What I want to talk about a loot log is when you loot collect all your stuff, there should be a little pop-up where it says, hey, when you loot collected all of this, I know you can hover all of them, and I guess you can also calculate it all of it if you want to, but if you have a full inventory, I don't know how much I'm loot collecting, how much I'm actually getting out of it. So I do, you do have the log in the uh, right side where whenever you, you know, defeat a, a dungeon or something like that, you, you destroy the chest, you get some items in there. But you see the items, but you don't see how much they loot collect for. So it'd be nice to have this little pop-up where it says, hey, uh, you looted, collected uh, 10,000 flux. And there was also some eyes in there. There was some other stuff. There was some dust and whatever there was in there as when, when you loot collected. And before you say, well, I don't want something popping up in my face. I just want everything to be loot collected. Well, there should be an option to click that off the first time you do it. You can see, I don't want to see this anymore. And then you can go back into the options and click that off again if you want to continue to see that pop up to see as many and maybe i'll get sick of it the pop up but again there should be an option and i couldn't stress i can't stress this enough there should be an option to if, if there can't be an option to take it off they shouldn't be added at all but i would love to see some pop up it doesn't have to be a big one or whatever it doesn't have to be invasive or whatever it could also be timed so it's just like shows up in the in the not in the one corner, but just some of it. And you can just see, oh, okay, I look like 10,000 flux and some eyes and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Then just kind of keep a track of it. Of course, you can also go before you look like, can you go into your inventory, see how much flux you have before. And then when you look like, oh, I, yeah, and you can calculate like that. But it should be nice to have this loot uh, log that just shows up. And again, an option, 100%, there needs to be 100% an option to turn it off. So it doesn't show up at all for anybody if you don't want it. But then an option again to turn it on if you want to do so. And maybe it's not a big deal. I was just an idea I had that I feel like I don't know how much I loot collect and I don't have any track of it. And it'll just be nice little uh, thing. Oh, okay. I actually, you know, made a bunch of flux for this. And, you know, for a new player, that could also be also be great. But again, the option would just be off. And maybe there's everybody but except for me would have it on. But again, uh, it's just an idea. It's just a quality of life thing. Maybe it's completely dumb, but at least it's something. But yes, that was the final and last idea. Right over here, uh, you're going to see, uh, you know, the big thingy. That's actually called a subscribe button. And also, there's going to be a video there. And it's actually not me that put that video there. Well, I did put the video, but it's YouTube recommending that video for you. So you should definitely go over and check that one out. And uh, I hope you guys liked the ideas. If you did, make sure you comment below, like the video, all that stuff. And maybe, again, your own ideas in the description uh, or in the comments, I mean. And anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!